Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be playing the Global Tournament. I'm going to be showing you guys the best log bait deck for the Global Tournament. Sorry for the lack of uploads recently. My phone storage has been kind of weird, so I've been trying to fix that. And hopefully this uploads. I'm still not 100% sure if this will even work, but I'm still going to try. But yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. And yeah, I'm going to hold my guards here because, okay, I was thinking that like... He might put like a troop, and if he puts a troop, I could block it quickly with guards and get some damage. I'm going to E-Spirit Barrel the bridge here. Okay, he does Golem in the back, which is pretty nice for me, because he has to defend this, or it will take his entire tower. So, and I'm going to get a lot of damage, because he obviously doesn't have enough for arrows straight away after spending 8 when arrows are 3. So, not really sure what his support cards are. I know he does have a Flying Machine, so this matchup inherently is going to be tough, because Flying Machine is hard to kill. But I'm just going to Tesla down here in the middle. He, he goes for Scalar Drags. I can Valk here and then go for Princess to snipe these because I know he doesn't have arrows in hand since he just used them. So that means my Princess will kill these Scalar Drags. I'm not going to overcommit with like an E-Spirit or anything. It will just die over time. I can log here on this Skeleton Barrel and then I can go for an E-Spirit Barrel here as well because he spent quite a bit of Elixir and he doesn't have his arrows in hand. He goes for a terrible Skarmy. <laughs> Classic Golem player, but I'm just going to Guards here on this Flying Machine. That should be good. It's still going to be hard to defend though because Skeleton Dragons and Flying Machine are just really tough cards for Logbait to defend in, in general. But, yeah. He might just go for another Golem in the back here. He played Skarmy, Flying Machine, Skelly Drags, Arrows. Yeah, so he is back to Golem. So I'm just going to start my defense with a Valkyrie in the back. And then once I hit 10, I'm just going to go for a Tesla in the middle. And then I'm going to go for a princess in the corner once I get some more uh, elixir. Then I can go for an e-spirit barrel to pressure because... Okay, I need to rocket this because there's no other way to defend. Okay, rocket. Should walk in. Okay, nice. So a pretty nice defense there. Whatever else he does isn't really going to do anything. I'm going to log that scar me. Go for a Valkyrie here in front of my tower. And hit the Golemites at the same time. And then, okay, that's going to push it back. So I, I need to go guards quickly to retarget it. Nice. Go E Spirit as well, just to help clean up these skeletons. Then I can go for a Goblin Barrel here. He's gonna. Okay, yeah. He goes for Skelly Drags. That's Rocket Log Range, so I just need to Rocket and Log. So, a pretty nice defensive sequence there versus a pretty tough matchup. There isn't really enough time for him to take my tower unless he goes straight at the bridge with the stuff. But even if he Golems the bridge here, the support cards aren't close enough to take my tower. Because the Golem by itself is not gonna get 2,000 damage in 10 seconds. But yeah. <laughs> really nice win there versus a uh, hard counter. And. I'm gonna need. I think I'm gonna need to BM this guy because he lost with that matchup. <laughs> okay, I'm in the next match against this Chinese dude. I'm not really sure what he plays. I'm just playing the global tournament early, j j just for fun. Um, that's why I'm like top 50 at like 10 wins or like 11 or or whatever it was. I wasn't really paying attention. Unfortunately, he cycles a goblin barrel the same time I do my log, but. Only one hit, so it's not that bad. It's gonna... I think I could just Tesla here on these Mother Witch Pigs. I don't really want to waste my Velt, because I'm not sure what he has yet. Okay, he goes for a Giant Skeleton at the bridge, so it's a good thing I didn't use my Velt, because now I can just Velk on top of everything and kill it. Okay, he goes for a Bomber as well. My Velk's gonna die and probably spawn another Pig, but it's not really gonna do anything. I can just Princess low. Okay, he uses his arrows. I'm gonna go E-Spirit here. Not really sure what he has. Maybe like a... I don't know, just like a weird bait deck or something. Okay, he does have Skeleton Army. I'm just going to Guards here on the Skeleton Army. He should clean it up well, and maybe I could get some damage on the counter push if he doesn't do anything. Yeah, th that will get a little bit of chip if he doesn't do anything, but he'll probably like a Mother Witch. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to have to go for a Tesla again pretty low. This is going to be kind of an awkward match, like, because he has, like, these Mother Witch Pegs, Bombers, and stuff, Skeleton Armies, and the Goblin Barrel, so it'll be kind of hard to try to get damage through, like, Skeleton Armies and Bombers and stuff, but I could try my best. He splits Zappies. Okay, I can log. That was kind of a bad barrel, because that's going to hit the Zappy. Maybe the second one? No, but it's still fine. I can go for a Goblin Barrel here. It's probably just going to Skeleton Army again, but hopefully I can get some damage. Okay, no, unfortunately I don't get any damage. Yeah, this is going to be really hard to get damage. Because he has, like, a lot of counters. And, like, I can't go barrel uh, log very often because I need something for his 
uh, his barrel. I, I'm gonna Valk the bridge here because he might Mother Witch. Okay, he doesn't Mother Witch. Kind of interesting decision, but it was a good one. I'm gonna Tesla down low. I'm gonna Princess off to the side to snipe this bomber. And then I'm gonna go for a barrel in the front. I can go E-Spirit on the middle, and then I can guard this RG. I need to get a second Tesla here. Okay, I'm gonna Tesla right here. Okay. I'm gonna Valkyrie the bridge here. I think I could go for a barrel. Okay. I'm gonna barrel on the left, I think. And then Princess as well, because he's, he's gonna Skeleton Army. <laughs> nice. Okay. I do clip the Skarmy, and I get a lot of damage. There, about 800 damage. Damn. Okay. I'm just gonna Guards in the middle here, and it should be fine defense. Hopefully that giant skeleton doesn't slash my tower, that would suck. I'm gonna Valkyrie here on these zappies. Then I'm gonna go for a barrel in the middle. He doesn't he didn't use his arrows, so there's no point to predict. Okay, I don't know why he went for bomber in the back. He took a lot of damage there. That was kinda bad. I'm just gonna Tesla here for this pig and then try to help on defense. I'm gonna prince off to the side so I can Valkyrie over top of everything and then my arrows is princess so I can go for guards on the right and I should be good. I'm fine with the RG getting like, like one shot or something if it even does. Guards are just so good. I'm going to barrel pre-log here because he's going to scar me, I think. Nice. So I get some more damage there. I'm going to go for E-Spirit and then I can Valkyrie in the front to block everything. Only take some damage from the goblin in the back. Okay, he goes for another RG. I'm going to guards uh, quickly and then Tesla. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Just go for a princess here on this bomber, and it'll clean up the pig and the mother witch. Goes for arrow, so I'm gonna barrel prelog again. Right now. Okay, he goes for zappies this time to prevent the prelog, but I still get so much damage, so I'll take it. I'm gonna e spear in the back, just tesla in the middle. Just keep having a tesla in the middle so it's awkward to go in, and then use that to force out the arrows on the on the princess. Then he can't defend the barrel properly if I prediction log. I'm going to E-Spirit here, and then I can Princess, and then I can go Barrel again. Okay, he goes for Arrows. I can just Tesla in the middle again. I'm not really worried. I don't feel like he's just not going to break through. I'm actually going to Log Cycle him out, I think. I think that's like three Logs, so... Okay, I'm going to Barrel, and then Valkyrie in the front, and then I can Log it again. Maybe I'll get a shot here, and we'll just end the game straight away. Okay, no, I, I need one more Log and a Rocket, so I'm good. I just need to make sure not to choke on defense, but I don't even think that's possible because he can't really get an RG to my tower. But yeah, I'm just going to rocket log here, and that was a really nice win. That was a tough matchup. It was, like, surprisingly hard. Like, I think it's good for me, but it just looked pretty hard because, I mean, he did play well. And it's just kind of, like, an annoying deck to face, like, RG, Mother Witch, Arrows, Bomber. Like, obviously, if I play solid defense, it'll be hard for him, but it was just kind of annoying to play against. I'm in, the, I'm in the next match against this guy, Danny Magic. I'm just gonna E Spirit the back. Okay, I'm gonna Princess the Bridge because he did, um, because I did cycle an E Spirit, and if you cycle an E Spirit first play, you have to pressure with it, or else they'll just activate their king. And I didn't have a barrel there, so I was forced to Princess at the bridge. I'm gonna Valk here for the Skeleton King. Valk is a perfect counter for the Skeleton King. It's kind of like the, it's kind of like the log to the barrel, which is like counters it so well. Okay, it looks like he's playing that, um, Valkyrie Skeleton King Graveyard Arrows deck. I think. Not many other decks run Zappies and Valkyrie uh, Skeleton King, so. I just need to figure out if he has Freeze or if he has Fireball. He doesn't have Arrows. That was a really bad graveyard because he doesn't have Arrows, which means there's no way to kill my guards. Because even like if he had a Fireball, it wouldn't really kill them. It would just like take off their shields. I think the goal in this matchup is to keep pressuring him so he uses his arrows on defense all the time. So then he can never use the arrows on a push and then he can never kill my guards. I think that's what I want to be doing. I'm going to Princess the Bridge here. Okay, that was a nice Skeleton King by him. <laughs> this emote's funny. I'm just going to Valkyrie in front of my tower here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's for an Inferno Dragon. I'm just going to cycle my Tesla right here because if I put it right here, he won't really be able to go in with it because the Inferno Dragon will just die to my Tesla. And then I can just go like Guards, E-Spirit, and Log on the Graveyard. And there no point. I'm going to cycle my E-Spirit here. And then I'm going to go for a Barrel in the back. He doesn't have uh, Arrows until he cycles Tombstone. Okay, he cycled Tombstone, so he is back to Arrows now. 
Okay, I'm gonna go guards on the left here. Okay, I'm gonna Valkyrie in the corner here for the Skeleton King. And I'm gonna go East Spirit Barrel. He's not back yet. Okay, uh, hello. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna place that. I guess it didn't really change anything. I'm gonna guards here, and then he's gonna arrow, so I need to get ready with E Spirit. And log. Okay, I don't need the E Spirit. I'm just gonna log. I'm gonna barrel an E Spirit just to pressure. Okay. He's not back to arrows. He has to fireball again. It's getting quite difficult to get damage, but I still am um keeping up the pressure, so he can't really make big pushes and just like uh, destroy me. But I'm gonna princess again on the right. I got some nice Valkyrie damage on the left, actually, so... I'm gonna Barrel again. His arrows, but if he arrows, it just means he can't go in, which is always great. Like, even though it's not really getting any damage, necessarily, with these Barrels, if every time he arrows, it makes it so he can't go in with a push. I'm gonna log this. I'm gonna go for another Tesla right here, just make it awkward to go in. I'm gonna Barrel here. I don't think he's back to arrows, but I could be wrong. Yeah, he's not back. I'm gonna Princess the Bridge as well. Just got a lot of damage right now. Um, okay. <laughs> what? What was that? I think that was actually the worst play he could have made. <laughs> I'm gonna rocket this. <laughs> what was that graveyard? That's, like, that was actually like, the worst play he could have made, actually. <laughs> what? I'm gonna Princess as well. Hopefully I can get the damage. Okay, nice. What was that graveyard? That was actually the worst play he could have made. <laughs> I don't know why he's telling me well played. <laughs> he's the one who did that graveyard. <laughs> oh, and he didn't have any elixir too to counter the barrel. <laughs> that guy was a good laugh. I don't know what that guy was doing. <laughs> what was that graveyard? Okay, I'm in the next match against this guy. I don't know what he has. Okay, he has healer, so it's probably Elixir Golem. I'm going to have Valkyrie in the back towards his healer and B Baby Dragon. Okay, he goes for an Inferno Dragon as well. Is he really going to Eagle him at the bridge right now? No way, right? We put everything into a rocket. What? <laughs> what is this guy doing? He's put everything into the rocket. Why is he laughing? What are you doing, my guy? Okay, I'm gonna barrel on the left and then guards at the bridge on the right. He's gonna have a, such a hard time defending both lanes. I'm gonna princess the bridge on the left as well. Just to force a response on each side. He goes for a mini P.E.K.K.A on the left. He's gonna go for a Valkyrie on this mini P.E.K.K.A. I'm gonna spam the CRL when he because he put everything into a rocket first play with uh, Elixir Golem. I mean, I don't really expect much from an Elixir Golem player, but still. I'm gonna go for a barrel on the right. I should get some good damage here. He can't really defend it, so we should have to eat the whole thing. His tower is already down to 277 HP, so great start for me. I still don't know what he was doing with that. That was just kind of random. Yeah, but yeah. He goes for healer in the back. I'm just going to go for a Tesla here. I'm just going to keep saying well played. <laughs> I think I can just go for a princess right here in the corner, because he I think he has a tornado, so I can go rock it right now. Should kill it. <laughs> what was that tornado? <laughs> Average elixir golem player. I'm gonna Valk Barrel at the bridge and then go guards as well. <laughs> this is a funny match. <laughs> this guy is like actually lost. Doesn't know what he's doing. I'm gonna princess on the right now. <laughs> no, we can't defend the other one. What are you do? What are you doing? <laughs> damn, he really. <laughs> he damn. He he did the same thing he did the first time or the or the third time. Just drop everything into a rocket. <laughs> oh, I assumed he would give up, so I actually went for the three crown, but. Shouldn't matter. I don't think he'll take my tower, and even if he does, I still have his other one. There's no way he's taking two towers, unless I, like, lag out or something. Go for an E-Spirit here. Okay, drop your Elixir Golem behind the support cards. <laughs> Absolute genius. <laughs> I don't know, like, what type of players are worse. Giant Graveyard players or Elixir Golem players? I mean, 
know if this was me, I'd be pretty angry and embarrassed, but that's just me. <laughs> just, like, did the same thing every time and just got destroyed. Because, like, Elixir Golem players just don't use their heads, I guess. I'm in the next match against, uh, Black Flag. I'm gonna go E-Spirit Barrel for a play. I don't know what he has. Okay. Oh, I get one shot there. Electro Spirit's broken. Damn. I'm just gonna log, I guess, just to cycle. He goes for Giant the back. Oh, I hope it's not Giant Graveyard. Even though they're really, really bad at the game, it's a really, really bad matchup as well, so I don't want to face it at all. Okay, I'm gonna cycle my Tesla. Okay, okay, it's Sparky. Thank God, it's Sparky. Okay, uh, he might Minion Horde in the middle here. I have to be careful. Okay, he goes Minion Horde. I'm gonna... Guards here to kite over the minion horde. He's gonna arrow, so I'm gonna go E Spirit right now. He could pull over the minions and hit them all with the spirit. Should only take like two shots. Okay, I took a little bit of minion damage, but it's fine. Hmm. Okay. If he doesn't do anything, I could just cycle like a barrel in the tower or something. He could, he could probably like bats or something, or just zap as well. He's probably going to zap since he put that mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, he put bats. Still fine. It got about the same amount of damage, I think. Let's go Valkyrie here on this mini P.E.K.K.A. Should be a pretty good counter. Goes for Sparky. Um, I don't know if I want to rocket this. Yeah, I'm not going to rocket it. I'm just going to go for Princess in the middle and then Guards over top. Okay, uh, pretty nice Skarmie from him right there. I'm going to Guards. Uh, great Guards for me there as well. Um... <laughs> I'm going to E-Spirit, and then I can log this as well. I didn't rocket that, because then he, would, he could go, um, Giant Minion Horde, and it'd be pretty hard to stop, because I didn't have, like, the correct defensive hand for it, so I just wanted to keep my rocket, j j just in case he went for that. I'm going to Princess in the back here. I could just cycle my Tesla down here, then I could go for Valkyrie, and then I could go Guards on top of this Mini P.E.K.K.A. E-Spirit for the bats. And... I'm not sure, like, how long this game will be because he can't really break through if I play good defense, but I can't really break through because he's just constantly going to have things down. Like, he can constantly do that, and I only get, like, one or two goblin hits each time. I'm going to Princess back here to catch him off guard, then I can go E-Spirit quickly. Nice. Okay. He was definitely going to arrow his death, but I caught him off guard with the placement, so it's good. Okay, I'm going to log the tower. Um... I'm going to rocket to Sparky and then go for a barrel. I can rocket that because I, I, I have another Princess in hand plus Tesla and E-Spirit. Oh, I'm going to guards here for this mini P.E.K.K.A. He's going to arrows this for sure. Yeah. I can go for an E-Spirit high just to clean up these skeletons and the mini P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to Princess in the back. Okay, I'm going to cycle my Tesla here. I can go for... Okay. I can go for a rocket here on this uh, Sparky. I'm going to go barrel. E spirit as well goes for a skeleton army oh my princess got a shot there which is great um i'm gonna valkyrie at the bridge to protect my princess from the skeletons and kill the giant okay goes for arrows pretty bad arrows there i'm just gonna princess again then i could guards the bridge plus barrel and i could go for a log as well he's gonna scar me you can just zap and it will kill it yeah but Okay, my Valkyrie and my guards actually killed his Sparky. I'm going to Valk the bridge again. I'm going to go for Princess over here because I'm at Minion Horde. Okay, I thought he was going to Minion Horde when the Princess locked on. So I tried to predict it with the E-Spirit plus Princess, but it's fine. Okay. I'm just going to log the tower here. I'm just going to Tesla. Go for a rocket on this Sparky here. Okay, he's gonna go for giant mini horde. I'm gonna do this uh, high IQ princess e spirit, I think, and it will work. Nice. <laughs> okay, he definitely didn't expect that. Um, he's gonna log here as well. Oh, nice, nice log as well. Yeah, he definitely didn't expect the princess e spirit to target the minion horde straight away. That's a good tip there versus minion horde when it's behind something. If they do minor minion horde, you, you do that same placement, but on the left side instead of on the on the far right. You can do that as well. I'm going to E-Spirit Barrel here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to Tesla in the middle and then Log. I'm going to Valkyrie the bridge. Go for like a Princess, E-Spirit, Guards. 
I could go for like a Tesla as well just to block this minion horde. And I'm good, yeah. That was a pretty flawless win there. Not really any mistakes at all. All the damage he got were from spells or just like two minion swings at the beginning. And he just couldn't really break through because I just played solid defense the entire time. It w inherently, it was a pretty bad matchup for him, but I also did play it really well, so it's fine. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy.